The invasion of Panama by the United States in December 1989 marked one of the most critical and painful episodes in the history of the Central American country, comparable in impact to the Spanish conquest centuries earlier. This operation, named Just Cause, was meticulously designed to overthrow the dictatorial regime of Manuel Noriega and dismantle the Panamanian Defense Forces, with the support of local dissatisfied sectors and the country's economic and political elite. The strategic interest of the United States in Panama was always centered on the Panama Canal, a vital waterway connecting the Caribbean Sea with the Pacific Ocean, crucial for global commercial and military operations. Since Panama's independence from Colombia in 1903, the United States established a dominant presence in the region, which included the construction of the Panama Canal in 1914 and the subsequent installation of military bases and operational centers like Southcom after World War II, reinforcing its influence in Latin America. Relations between Panama and the United States intensified during the 20th century, especially concerning the control of the canal. However, these relations significantly deteriorated when Manuel Antonio Noriega, who came to power following the death of Omar Torrijos in 1981, became involved in illicit activities such as drug trafficking and money laundering, in addition to being implicated in political assassinations. Noriega, a former ally and collaborator of the CIA, became a double agent and an increasingly problematic figure for American interests especially in light of the imminent return of the Panama Canal to Panamanian control under the Torrijos-Carter Treaty of 1977. This buildup of tensions and conflicts led to the United States military intervention in 1989, the last unilateral intervention in Latin America during the Cold War, in an effort to secure its strategic interests and respond to Norwegia's criminal activities. Over 26,000 U.S. soldiers were deployed, culminating in a massive bombardment and the capture of Noriega, an event that drastically redefined the relationship between Panama and the United States. The Torrijos-Carter Treaty of 1977 marked a significant change in the relations between Panama and the United States by establishing the gradual transfer of control of the Panama Canal from the United States to Panama. However, Tensions between the two countries intensified due to the criminal activities of the Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega and his refusal to cooperate with the administration of Ronald Reagan. The situation became even more complicated when Noriega annulled the results of the 1989 elections, which showed a clear victory for the opposition candidate Guillermo Endara, and installed a puppet president. This led the Organization of American States OAS, to call for a peaceful transfer of power and for the United States to send troops to the canal area. Tensions reached their peak when Noriega declared a state of war between Panama and the United States, exacerbating an already volatile situation that worsened with the killing of a U.S. Navy officer by Panamanian soldiers. Noriega, known for his brutal use of violence and repression against political opposition, consolidated his power through torture tactics and enforced disappearances, intensifying popular resistance against his regime. In the context of the Cold War and following the experience in Vietnam, the American elite opted to shift from direct colonial control of the canal to a neo-colonial approach through the Panamanian government. However, with Noriega declaring war and proving to be an unreliable ally, the United States decided to act. On December 20, 1989, just days before the scheduled transfer of the canal, the United States launched Operation just cause, invading Panama and overthrowing Noriega. The invasion lasted until January 31, 1990, and was carried out by about 26,000 troops, including elements of the 8th Airborne Division, with the support of advanced military technology such as the stealth F-117 bomber and Black Hawk helicopters. The military action, which involved massive bombings in densely populated areas like El Corio, resulted in a high number of civilian casualties, detentions, and significant destruction, with an estimated 4,000 homes damaged in this neighborhood alone and economic losses amounting to approximately $2 billion. The United States' invasion of Panama left deep scars in the social fabric of the country, demonstrating the complex dynamics of power and the consequences of U.S. foreign policy in the region. Operation Just Cause, carried out by the United States in Panama in December 1989, represented a critical point in the history of relations between the two countries. Although it was a swift intervention aimed at overthrowing Manuel Noriega, 
The human cost was high due to intense bombings aimed at neutralizing the Panamanian military capability. The United States justified the invasion as necessary to capture Noriega, who was involved in drug trafficking, and to protect the Torrijos-Carter Treaty on the canal. The international community, including the United Nations General Assembly, condemned the invasion, which resulted in numerous civilian victims and considerable infrastructure destruction. Local resistance and clashes at specific points in the country complicated the operation, which, although it managed to dismantle Panama's main military headquarters, left deep scars on the social and political fabric of the country. Finally, although the United States attempted to justify the operation in terms of protecting American citizens and defending democracy, the invasion generated lasting distrust and tension in the region, marking the final chapter of direct U.S. military influence in Latin America. The Operation Just Cause, the American invasion of Panama in 1989, culminated in the capture and prosecution of Manuel Noriega in the United States for crimes such as drug trafficking and murders. After the invasion, Guillermo Endara assumed the presidency, and significant reforms were implemented, including the dissolution of the Panamanian army and the creation of public forces. The complete withdrawal of U.S. troops and the return of the Panama Canal occurred in 1999, in accordance with the Torrijos-Carter treaties. However, the invasion left a devastating toll, with estimates ranging from 3,000 to 5,000 dead and about 20,000 displaced, many of whom were never compensated. The victims, treated as collateral damage, were often buried in mass graves without proper registration. Today, the legacy of the invasion continues to be felt in Panamanian society, with families still seeking justice and recognition for their lost loved ones. This event deeply marked Panama, leaving physical and psychological scars that continue to affect the nation. The 1989 U.S. invasion of Panama had devastating and lasting consequences for the country. Economically, material damages and losses in tax revenues amounted to hundreds of millions of dollars, and it is estimated that 75,000 jobs were lost, exacerbating poverty and unemployment. The violence and chaos following the invasion led to a wave of looting and a significant increase in crime due to psychological trauma and economic instability. Socially, the actual number of deaths and disappearances remains uncertain, further complicating the process of justice and reparation for the victims and their families. Many Panamanians still do not know the full truth of the events, and the victims are often stigmatized. Despite the years that have passed, the demand for justice and official recognition of what occurred remains strong, underscoring the need for a complete and transparent government investigation.